A debate over changes to the Baltimore County Inspector General's office takes center stage tonight as Council Chair Julian Jones defends a series of amendments that could weaken the IG's power. These amendments tacked onto a bill designed to reform the IG's office at the request of a special commission. These amendments are a slap in the face to the Blue Ribbon Commission. We talk about sort of like the fox guarding the hen house. And when we get groupthink, we know what we're going to get uh, in terms of response. Fox 45's Rebecca Pryor has the fallout from tonight's meeting and what the future could hold for Baltimore County's top watchdog. Are you going to vote for the amendment? I don't think so. No, I'm not going to vote for the amendment. And don't worry about it. Okay, I will not vote for the amendment. Thank you. Amid hours of heated debate, asking you to let the people's watchdog do her job without obstruction and interference. You do, you, are you, do you consider yourself a very nice inspector general or competent and do a great job? I do my job. Questions asked by Fox 45 last week. To be very clear, those items were not all my ideas. There was a compilation between myself, other members, uh, stakeholders. Other members who, of the county council? Other members of the county council. Who, which members? Stakeholders. I'm not going to get into all the conversations that I've had with all the members. Echoed inside council chambers on Tuesday. You did say there were council members who um, had some of these recommendations. And I do believe that the council members can speak for themselves. I would like those other county council members to speak up now. It was indicated that council members helped you form the amendments. And I don't know if you wanted to clarify on that. Well, I was very clear with what I said, and I appreciate you telling me what I know, but I think I'm very capable of knowing what I know, and I thank you very much. I stand by my statement. Council Chair Julian Jones still refusing to say who, other than himself, initiated these controversial amendments. Why do you refuse to be transparent about that? Well, because that's a private conversation. But it's going to be a public law, so why would that need to be private? Because it was a private conversation between another councilman or a few councilmen and myself. So multiple councilmen and yourself? Well, it was a, it was a private conversation. Private conversations about public amendments being made to a bill two years in the making. Long-awaited legislation designed to strengthen the inspector general's ability to weed out waste, fraud, and abuse with new policies backed by this 100-page report by a Blue Ribbon Commission that the county paid $100,000 for, by several local and national organizations, by County Executive Johnny Olszewski. I completely understand the Inspector General's shock and surprise and outrage in this situation. And by Baltimore County's Deputy Director of Government Affairs. The administration supports the bills as introduced, and I urge the council to resist any amendments that are not aligned with the recommendations of the commission. Critics arguing the amendments would undermine the commission's months of research, included in the amendments, blocking the IG's power to freely subpoena documents from private contractors, citizens, or companies doing business business with the county, allowing any county employee involved in an IG investigation to request reimbursement for attorney fees and creating an advisory board that would review and insert recommendations on all IG reports before they're published. Ultimately, if passed, it's city employees paid by your tax dollars the amendments would protect. Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.